Hello everyone, it's Judy here. In this video, I will be setting up and installing ECG and blood pressure measurement on my Galaxy Watch 7. To get ECG and blood pressure on your Galaxy Watch, you need the Samsung Health Monitor, which is not available in every country of the world. However, thanks to a developer on XDA Developers that goes by the name Dante63, he has been able to modify the Samsung Health Monitor app which will allow you to get ECG and blood pressure on your Galaxy Watch irrespective of your country. To proceed, simply go to the links in the description. The first link is the SHM app for your phone. That should be installed on your phone. The second link is the SHM app for the watch. So I will go ahead and install the SHM app on my phone. I will simply go to my folder here and you can see that we have um, the first file here. Okay, I also let that just once and click on install and this would be installed on my phone. Next, we need to install SHM on the watch and to do this, we need an app called Bogjoga. Check the link in the description to download the Bogjoga app or simply go to Play Store and search for Bogjoga. So go ahead and open the Bogjoga app. But before that, you need to make sure that both the phone and watch are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So once you have connected both phone and watch to the same Wi-Fi network, we need to enable developer mode. Simply go to the settings app on the watch and scroll down to about watch. Now go to software information and tap on software version multiple times to enable developer mode and go back to the main menu of the settings app you can see that developer mode is now enabled and go to developer options navigate to adb debugging and, and turn it on turn on adb debugging and scroll down to where it says wireless debugging tap on that and turn it on as well All right now with this enabled now with this enable, scroll down to where it says pair new device and tap on it. Now you need to enter these details on the Bojoga app. Now go to the Bojoga app and tap on the plug icon at the top right hand corner. Tap on it and tap on pair. Now enter the IP address and then go ahead and enter the port. Enter the pairing code. Now once you're done with that, tap on pair. Now, this is successful as you can see on the Bojoga app. As you can see, our device is now paired to the phone. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the details I have here. Okay, the IP address is the same as we have here and the port is also the same. So go ahead and tap on connect. And if this is successful, you should see all the apps you have on your watch right on the Bojoga app. Tap on the middle icon with an arrow pointing upwards. As you can see, all the apps I have on the watch is showing up on the Bojoga app. Now this shows that the connection was successful, all right? Now to install the app, simply tap on the plus icon at the top of the screen and tap on OK with select app APK file selected. Tap on OK and locate where you have saved the file you downloaded, the SHM app for watch, which is what you downloaded initially. Go ahead and select that and tap on Done. And Bojoga will remotely install SHM app on the watch. Now, this should take a couple of uh, minutes or seconds, depending on the speed of your internet connection. So guys, Bogjoga has successfully remotely installed ACHM app on the watch as you can see. And the next thing to do right now is to turn off developer mode. You need to turn this off to avoid a serious impact on your battery. Okay, so simply go back to the settings app on the watch and go to developer options. Okay, um, let's go to wireless debug charge debugging first. Turn this off and then go back to ADB debugging and turn it off. Okay, and then go back to about watch, go to um, software information, 
and tap on this multiple times to turn off developer mode now with that done the next thing we're going to do right now is to set up blood pressure measurement on the watch and to do this you need a handcuff blood pressure monitor like i have one here okay i'm going to wear this on one arm and watch on the other arm so guys to proceed i'll simply go ahead and open the samsung health monitor on the phone okay i'll go ahead and tap on accept if you want to sync ECG and blood pressure data from Samsung Health Monitor to Samsung Health, then you need to grant all permissions. However, this will require you to download SHM mode by Data Set 3, and that is another process on its own. Without granting these permissions, ECG, blood pressure, and sleep apnea will all work perfectly fine. So I'll just go ahead and tap on cancel to proceed. All right, go ahead and enter your details create your profile and once you're done with that go ahead and tap on continue to proceed now go ahead and tap on calibrate the watch tap on next go ahead and read through that and tap on next i'll tap on get started i'll tap on next i'll go ahead and tap on next to proceed all right it is time to start the blood pressure monitor okay i'll start this okay it says um allow samsung health monitor to use data from watch sensors okay we need to grant permissions to shm on the watch simply go to the settings app on the watch locate apps and go to app list and locate shm which you have just installed on the watch okay this is it go to permissions and you can see all the permissions that is required Okay, go ahead and grant all of these permissions. So go ahead and grant those permissions. Once you have done that, go back to the SHM app on your phone. Okay, so let's proceed. So guys, we have the first reading. Go ahead and tap on yes, enter now, and enter the readings you have on your blood pressure monitor. So go ahead and enter that and tap on done, then confirm. We need to go ahead and take this measurement three times. So we need to do the second one, tap on next. So here we go, we have the second uh, measurement. Okay, go ahead and tap on yes, enter now, and enter what you have and then we need to take the last measurement so here we go we have the last measurement okay i'll go ahead and enter that and 71 okay you know confirm this and that is it guys we have successfully calibrated uh, the watch to measure blood pressure so i can simply go ahead and take my first measurement okay i'll simply go ahead and tap on measure and okay all right as you can see the measurement on the watch is almost almost the same with what we have on the Omron blood pressure monitor so guys that is how you can install and set up blood pressure measurement for your glassy watch next we are going to set up ecg so go ahead and tap on ecg as you can see on SHM on the phone tap on ecg and tap on get started now go ahead and tap on next go ahead and read through all of these uh, warnings and tap on next to proceed tap on next go ahead and read through that and tap on next you know tap on done okay so that is how you can set up ecg on the watch so we can go ahead and take our first ecg measurement i'll simply go to my list of tiles here yeah? and tap on plus and locate ECG, okay. I'll tap on record, read through that. So, guys, there we go. That is how you can install and set up ECG and blood pressure on your Galaxy Watch 7, Galaxy Watch Ultra, Galaxy Watch 6, Galaxy Watch 5, and Galaxy Watch 4. And, guys, that is it for this video. If you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Until next time, goodbye.